Hey there, I'm a DIY track guy. This is my humble garage, and today we fix something that's really annoying. And no, I'm not talking about my cringy dad jokes. The other day when we were relocating and installing this new washer bottle, I noticed that this plastic piece was broken on the other side. Hey, this thing's broken. I also noticed that the windshield wipers and arms are looking pretty sad. So let's do something about that. First up, let's take these wipers off. There's a little tab right here. Pull it up, push the wiper away. I put this piece of wood here so that the wiper arm doesn't crack the windshield. Ask me how I know. And I'm gonna take a balled up sock and just put it like this for double protection. Because the wiper arm is under tension, there's a spring under here. This won't come off. You have to push it down. Next, we remove these plastic covers. Here's a closer look at the trim panel and you can see the part that's broken off here. I also just noticed that this part's broken here. Here's a look at the back. And since we've exposed all this dirt, why don't we clean this up? Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. Another thing we don't wanna neglect is how dirty this windshield is. So let's give it a thorough clean. And here's our new Genuine Mazda windshield plastic, part number in the description. It was available straight from the dealer and it costs about $150 Canadian. And it comes with these small plastic covers, which is nice, but not the large covers on the end. We'll need to reuse those. And here's a view of the backside. I didn't realize it would come with these plastic clips, so we'll have to remove the ones that are currently on the car. Now that I got the old plastic clips out, let's proceed with installing this piece. All the clips are aligned with the holes. Let's just push down. And over here I have new windshield wipers. These are beam style, which are a little bit different than what I had before. I'm sure you've seen these. These particular ones are from Amazon, link in the description. But before just slapping these onto the car, I wanted to try something. This is 303 Aerospace Protectant and it's meant to treat vinyl, rubber, and plastic surfaces. I'm gonna use this stuff to treat these rubber blades and let them soak overnight. I hear it makes them last longer. And here they are all sealed up in their bags with this stuff. I'm a little unsure if this is gonna work, but if it's good enough for the NASA space program, it's good enough for me. And now we come to the most enjoyable part of this job, stripping the old paint and painting them up nicely. Three days later and this is looking pretty ripe. The product went from being very white to now a little bit discolored. It's a little yellow in there. Hopefully that means that it's impregnated the rubber. Here's our newly repainted wiper arms. They look okay. And the driver's side has this little wind deflector that sits here like this. Here it is installed, not bad for a couple hours work. And here's the corner where the trim was broken. Now it looks pretty good with the new one. So let's go for a little test drive. We're in luck, it's raining. Windshield wipers are go. Windshield wipers are working fine, but I like this better. It's like the matrix. All right, I'm tired of this rain. Back to the fort. 
I've owned older Japanese cars before and often it's difficult to source those little plastic trims or interior pieces. So I'm pleasantly surprised that we can still buy small, obscure, genuine parts straight from Mazda for our 30 year old cars. Although this kind of stuff has no performance benefit, sometimes it's nice to just fix broken things on our beloved Miatas. Also, windshield wipers have been getting unreasonably expensive. Spending $40 or $50 for a pair seems kind of ridiculous to me. I'm hoping this $20 pair of beam style Amazon wipers will last a while and provide decent performance, but I'll let you know if they fail prematurely. Lastly, Rain-X. I've been using this product for decades now, and even though it does require reapplication, it's pretty cool under certain conditions to see the rain beat off the windshield without even using the wipers, or just to make your wipers work more effectively. I think it's a great product to add to the regular car cleaning regimen and can have a big impact when driving in severe rain conditions. So that's all for the Mostly Useless Garage. This was a really easy one. You're awesome. I'm useless. Thanks for watching.